Yo guys, what is going on Timpasit and welcome back to another video on the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Rappers try to brag about accomplishments, but nothing you've been dropping yet astonishes. Yeah. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a Fortnite styled like button. It'll just pop up on the side of your screen, you can edit it in your editing software, um, and it'll just pop up and it'll just remind them to hit the like button. So, it's really useful and it'll increase the likes in your videos and it looks really nice at the same time. So, yeah, if we break 100 likes in this video, I'll release a template to download it in the description. And I know we can hear it, we've smashed it all on all of my other videos. Um, and yes, yeah, subscribe if you are new and let me know what video you'd like to see from me next this video um, was actually suggested by one of you guys so just let me know and maybe one of your ideas will be featured on my channel so yeah if you enjoyed the video smash the like button and yeah let's get right into it Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So what you want to open up is the Fortnite graphics pack made by Visual Arts. Again, um, it's on his channel. It's a Fortnite graphics pack and it's just got everything you need to make Fortnite graphics. Um, so yeah, what you want to do first is just open it up, go down to um, character renders and pick whatever character render you want. But there's one that I really like and it fits really well for this sort of thing. Um, is this one right here, it's the Dark Knight and you just want to bring that in and just put it in the centre it should lock into place and just choose a random colour for the background so it just makes it easier to see I'm just going to choose this in fact, I might, actually nah blue should be fine um, so yeah, before we go any further I just want to add a few effects to the character just to make it pop a bit more so if you just add a new layer, go to Create Clipping Mask, make sure it's on black, and then just on the outside, just add a little shadow. Just a little few effects, and also, because we're going to be adding text to the bottom, and it's going to go over the top of the bottom half, before we like get any further, just make it a bit darker down there as well, because the text will just add, add a shadow to it. So something like that, and then let's change the colour to white, Create Clipping Mask again. Ooh. Great clipping mask and then add a white spot on the head and also on the shoulder area bring that down a bit and then we're just going to group all that together control E to merge Ooh. and then we're going to add some brightness and contrast some CC's so bring the brightness down the contrast up color curves bring that up bring that down exposure bring the exposure up offset up a little bit and also the gamma correction and then also go to color balance and we're going to make it a bit more orangey just to suit the Fortnite style like so you can pause it and see the different settings if you want but yeah as you can see it just makes it look a lot nicer then I'm going to group that together and now we're going to add the text yeah we'll add the text now so go to the text tool and we're going to put hit the no we'll put like this video so just put first like and then you just want to I'm just going to bring down the um, the spacing <laughs> I couldn't think of the word then and we're going to make it about that size and make it white and we're going to add some just effects to it gradient overlay make it an inner glow and then press ctrl J to duplicate it and put this and we're going to move that bit to the right and then duplicate again by pressing ctrl J and put video exclamation mark and you can change the sizes of the different um, texts it's up to you guys but I think I might just keep it like that and then group all that together by pressing Control G and we're gonna change this the, this and make it like the Fortnite yellow type of colour so yellow and it's quite light it's sort of that that sort of colour and that should be okay and then what you want to do is just group that by pressing Control G which is what we've done and press Control E then press Ctrl T, Shift and Alt, and on the right, on the, the middle square, move it to the right a little bit. So you get that slant, and then you're gonna make that a little bit smaller and put it there. 
Now what we're going to do is add a rectangle, which is going to be black. In fact, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to add a new layer. We'll do it a different way. Control click on the text, select, modify, expand, and we'll do 20. Then you press Alt Backspace and you get this nice outline. Um, you can do it with the rectangle tool, but I'm just going to do it like this. And then I'm going to go to gradient overlay and bring that down a bit and add an inner glow. So that looks really nice. And then I'm going to group all that together, press Ctrl E, press Ctrl T, Shift and Alt, and I'm going to make it a bit more slanted. So that's looking really nice, make sure it's directly in the centre as well, which that is in the centre now. Um, and now what we're going to do is on the, the character render, press Ctrl E, then add a new layer, Ctrl click on the thumbnail of the person which is right there and you get the outline then we're going to go to select modify expand we're going to add an outline to this so maybe 10 you can make this black maybe and then obviously bring it behind the character um, black looks okay maybe if you had a gradient overlay but how about yellow that light yellow You could add a light yellow. Let's try it. We'll just rasterize out the yellow. It looks okay like that. Could add a gradient. And maybe you could also add, just rasterize that. Add a new layer. Control click on the yellow outline. Select, modify expand by 10 and then alt backspace and then bring it behind the yellow one and then you've got that outline as well and then you can add a gradient overlay to that so group all that together that looks pretty good on the actual character itself i might add a drop shadow bring down the distance all the way, the spread, the size, that looks good but for some reason there's two spots over here, might just remove that, okay so if we just have a look at that now, delete, uh, we'll add some more CC's I think, just to make it pop, Exposure, bring up the exposure a bit. Offset. And then colour balance, we're going to make it more yellowy. Orange. Okay, that, that looks good to me. So yeah, that is about it for the video guys. There is the like button, so obviously you can save this as a PNG and bring it into your videos and then just let it pop up and it says like this video and you can do the same for like a subscribe you could put subscribe um, but yeah um, 100 likes and I'll put the, this um, template in the description um, and that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video